Nutrition TV. My name is Karshe. I want you to share our testimony and show the world. Hi, Somali Christian TV. My name is Abdullahi Hassan Hashi. We are Somali Christians. We want you to share our testimony to the whole world. Greetings to all those who speak Somali. My name is Karsha. We are making this video to share with you our testimony and to testify our faith. All Somalis are expected to be Muslim, but we are not Muslims. We are Christians who believe in Christianity. I've been Christian for 11 years and I'm happy to be a Christian. I advise you Somali people to become Christians and leave the dark Arabic religion that Arabs deceived you with and that divided Somalis. If it would be the true path, Somalis would not hate each other. You have seen the news in Mogadishu that some people had killed their parents. When you ask, how can someone kill their parents? They will say, he is Al-Shabaab, so he believes that is his ticket to heaven. Isn't that crazy? So I'll tell you that Islam is not the right path. The true path that God made for all mankind in the world is Christianity. I advise all Somalis to become Christians and receive Jesus. And with you. I'm a Somali Christian and I've been Christian for 11 years. I'm telling you Somalis that the grace has reached us and don't let that grace pass you by. You need to believe in Christianity. What you think and believe, which is the Arabic language, which the Arab people use to deceive you and divide your community, don't let that be a religion for you, but receive the true belief of Christianity. May our God Jesus Christ bless you. I know that he loves his people and I know how he delivered me from the dark. Likewise, he wants the same for you to be saved but you need to be willing and accept the free gift from him that gives you everlasting life. When you hear everlasting life, that means heaven. So I advise you, brothers and sisters, the heaven which doesn't require you to work, but believe is better than the heaven that Arabs claimed. Even if you work hard, there is no guarantee for you. No guarantee means nobody will know where they will end up. If you ask Islamic scholars what would happen if a Muslim die, they say only Allah knows. It's true that God knows all things, but God will clarify to you now when you are here. So I want to tell you now that believing in Christianity is better than believing Islam. Because it is the true belief that makes God and human connected. That is the Christianity which I believe and has been confirmed. Now I tell you Somalis that I love to become Christian. The person you're seeing is me. I am a Somali Christian. Do not listen if someone tells you that you cannot become a Christian if you're Somali. You can become Christian and be Somali. You can keep your old culture. Therefore, do not run away from grace, blessings and goodness that you can only find in Christianity and by believing Jesus Christ. May our God Jesus Christ bless you. Brothers and sisters, my name is Abdullahi Hassan Hashi. Today I have been saved. God has led me to the right path. Today I am a Christian man. The reason of my salvation is my friend called Karsha, who has been evangelizing me for a long time. We are thanking God today. This Somali gentleman is my friend. His name is Abdullahi Hassan Hasha, as he told you, and my name is Karsha. My friends call me Kabawene. I was spreading Christianity among Somalis for a long time. This man is the 30th person that the Lord has saved through me to get out of Islam into Christianity. Glory be to God for that. This friend of mine is a Somali, and Somalis are very strict Muslims, which makes it very hard to reach out to them. Since this man was born into his previous religion, he did not have much knowledge of Islam. Everything is written in Arabic, so a sheikh has to translate or nobody will understand. So I brought a lot of proof to him and we debated. It took me one and a half years to bring him down from the mountain and the Arabic religion that he was trusting and following the Saudis who blinded Somalis. God broke the chains from him and found the truth and became Christian. Today he is a Christian man. Abdullah, am I telling the truth? You are telling the truth. Aren't you a Christian man today? Yes. Today we baptized you. In Somali, baptism means that your sins have been washed away when you enter the water and you start a new life, being born again. Being born again means that you will start a new life and all of your sins have been washed away. Do you understand that? This man is a Christian from today. From today, you have a responsibility to spread Christianity and to preach the gospel to the Somalis. You do your part and we keep continuing. Our Somali brothers and sisters, we send you a message that you've been deceived by the Arabic language. If someone wants to worship or talk to Allah, you have to speak Arabic. 
That is crazy. I don't understand. The God who created the universe and all mankind only understands the Arabic language when you worship. I couldn't swallow that. I have been following Christ for 11 years. I got saved when I was in Kenya, but now I'm in another country. A Somali Christian reached out to me as I did to this man. God had sent him to me. Somalis, we encourage you to not be afraid of the Christian belief. It is a good faith. This Islamic religion that you are clinging to, which has no guarantee of an afterlife, I tell you to question it and research so you know what it really is. But if you are scared of researching Islam, how do you know if it is right or wrong? Stop being blindfolded. A Somali proverb says, if you ask a question and ask why this, why that, why did this happen, why did that happen, you take a real step to real knowledge. I would say that the Islamic religion is a forced belief now. If someone leaves Islam, they will be persecuted and threatened. But the important thing for you is that you find the real God. It is not important for you that you stay in the dark with your people. That is my advice. We are Somali Christians and Abdullahi and the other believers before us eagerly want to reach out to our Somali brothers with the gospel. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs>